Welcome, welcome ladies and gentlemen to a brand new video. Whilst grinding the current arena mode to obtain reputation for the Soul Fighter event, I managed to obtain the highest rank of Gladiator fairly early on compared to others. And this was because I stumbled upon a build that was super powerful by mistake, in the form of the Thieves Gloves Augment. It gave me a lethality build for one of my rounds, and the champion I was playing, Ilawi, was super powerful as a result. So I tried it again, over and over to see if it was plausible as a build for Alawi in this mode. Turns out it was super strong, and this is how you are going to play it. Best partnered with either a Morgana or a Zyra, or just as good solo most of the time, understanding Alawi is a good starting point. The primary source of your damage revolves around your E, as this is your main ability to summon tentacles you need to do big amounts of damage. Killing the soul is important if you can, as it guarantees you two tentacles to spawn in the area. Partnering this with your ultimate and nearby enemy champions is a massive part of your damage also. Now I wanted to make this video because the augments can be quite challenging to work out which ones to take, but with this build it's pretty straightforward which ones to look out for. For Prismatic, Goliath is the standout option, making you more tanky but also increasing your adaptive damage. This augment is pretty key to the overall build, as you won't be getting much HP from other sources. The other augments you want to look out for are Infernal Soul, Executioners, the Brutalizer, and Thread the Needle. If you are unable to find these, augments such as Mad Scientist and Ultimate Revolution for Prismatic Augments are just as good, and any damage related augment on the lesser ones will have to do. The items are as follows, start with Guardian's Dirk. Pick either armor or magic resist boots depending on the teams you are against. Pick Eclipse as your mythic, then Edge of Night followed by more of Malmoritus if the team is AP heavy or just Black Cleaver if it is AD. By the fourth item, you are usually at a stage where losses cause eliminations, so pick up a Guardian's Angel to burst and return to life. If you manage to reach your fifth item, it is usually best to pick something which will help you, like armor penetration if you are up against two tanks for example. Another little thing people don't realize about Alawi is that even in the shop section, if you pull her soul out of the dummy and kill it, the killer will receive 25 gold each time, stack this up each round and you might be able to afford a potion where you may not have before. From here on, it's all about taking the right fights. Range fights against mages should be either waited out until the ring is smaller, or allow your partner to clear out and poke the enemy from afar whilst you wait for your opportunity to strike, which is why Morgana and Zyra are good for this. And be warned, most early fights you will lose, as Alawi's game before level 6 is very weak and mostly can't compete against the damage of most other champions. But this doesn't matter, as you lose the least amount of points at the start and the end goal is always more important. Get to grips with Alawi, follow these build stages and with a little bit of luck, you might find yourself gladiator like myself in no time. And just to be clear, this isn't 100% effective every game, as different comps and champs like Kindred and Tarek do make life very hard as Alawi, due to the invulnerability of their ultimate, but overall she's solid to get you to a good state most games. I recommend trying this out for yourself, and she is very rarely banned which is always a bonus, at least on my server she doesn't. I'm just going to finish the video with my duos play against Jax which wants the game, because I'm well aware that it takes a team and not just a solo player to win this mode. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed videos like this let me know, like and subscribe if you are new around here, and as always, I'm Riot Inter, and I'm out.